Hey, Julian Kraus here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to distinguish between ambience and equipment noise and why it is so important to have this skill. So let's start out with the why. You might think noise is bad and I don't want to have any kind of noise in my recordings. So why should I even care if it's ambience or equipment noise? You're absolutely right. Noise is something that you don't want to have in your recording. But still, sometimes you end up with noise in your recording and you want to do something about it. In this situation, it's important to distinguish between ambience and equipment noise, because this way you can narrow down the potential noise sources in your recording and finally eliminate your noise problem. Knowing whether the noise is due to your ambience or your equipment will enable you to quickly find and eliminate noise problems in the future. So now we got that out of the way, let's dive right into the topic and start with a description of the two types of noise. Ambience noise is generated by sound sources in your recording environment. And as you would have probably guessed, this noise is heavily dependent on your surroundings. So if you do have ambience noise in your recording, you know that it was produced somewhere in your recording environment. Self noise, on the other hand, describes the inherent noise of audio equipment. Every audio equipment from microphones to audio recorders have some amount of self noise and the amount depends heavily on the equipment that is being used and how it is set up. If you encounter self noise in your recording, you know that the noise is coming from the audio equipment itself. Okay, you now know the difference between ambience and self noise, but how do they sound like in a recording? Well, let's have a listen to some very obvious examples of ambience noise. Well, these were all kinds of noises that could ruin your recording. There was a jackhammer, a car going by and a plane going overhead. And these are the sounds that I personally would classify as random ambience noise. Because it's either not there constantly or the intensity varies over time. Okay, these sounds were not too difficult to pick out. So let's get into the second ambience noise category, monotone ambience noise. Have a listen. You should have heard an aircon, then a fridge, and then a computer in the end. And these are also very typical examples of noise that you can encounter in your recordings. The problem with monotone ambience noise is that it is often mistaken as self noise. People are quick to blame their recording equipment, but it's actually their recording environment which is ruining their recordings. So be careful when listening to the noise and don't judge too quickly. Now let's have a listen to some self noise examples to understand how they differ from ambience noise. The first noise was created by a condenser microphone and the second noise was coming from a preamplifier in an audio recorder. These are also very typical examples of self noise sources. And for the most part, if you do hear self noise in your recording, it's either coming from your microphone or your audio recorder. As you could hear, equipment noise is very constant, but contrary to monotone ambience noise, self noise sounds much more like a hiss or white noise. To make things a little bit more complicated in a real world recording, the noise floor can be composed out of multiple noise sources. So if you do hear a hissy noise, and also an air conditioner going on, you already know that you do have a ambience noise problem and also a problem due to equipment noise. Just one thing to be aware of. Okay, you should now be able to pick out whether your noisy recordings have ambience or self noise or even both in it. And with that knowledge, you can narrow down the potential noise sources. If you do have problems with noise, subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any future video on how to record professional and clean sounding audio. Till then, don't give noise a chance and I see you in the next one.